jazz legends, do any harpists come to mind? If your answer is no, I would like to introduce you to the world's greatest swing harpist, Olivet Miller. Olivet Miller was born into a world of glitz and glamour in New York City on February 2nd, 1914. Her father, Flowney Miller, was an actor, playwright, lyricist, and producer who co-wrote Shuffle Along, the first Broadway-style show written, staged, and performed by an African-American cast. This groundbreaking show integrated jazz and African-American dance styles, making an indelible mark on the future of Broadway. As a young girl, Miller was mesmerized by the artists, sights, and sounds of New York City and eventually fell in love with the harp. She once recalled, I was walking with Papa down Lexington Avenue in New York one day when I was about six. I spied a broken down harp in the window of a music store and demanded that he buy it for me then and there. Papa was always very indulgent, so he did, and I started to practice. Miller's gift for music propelled her into studios at the Juilliard Institute and the Paris Conservatory, where she studied with renowned harpist Marcel Tournier. She learned traditional literature in preparation for a career as a concert harpist, but with virtually no opportunities in classical music, she worked with bands and played in nightclubs. In 1937, she got a big break when she joined Noble Sissel's Orchestra, touring Europe with the group during World War II. When she returned to the United States, she played in nightclubs, vaudeville productions, and reviews in Hollywood, Chicago, and New York, often appearing alongside such premier entertainers as Lena Horne and Dorothy Dandridge. During this time, she gained the title the world's greatest swing harpist. Throughout her career, Miller spoke openly about her challenges as an African-American artist. She tested numerous times for Hollywood films, but believed she was never cast because the film industry would not make room for African-American actors. She once said, there can only be one colored girl at a time as a movie star. Right now, that's Lena Horne. She also resisted stereotypes in the music industry. Programmers were often surprised that she, an African-American artist, could read music, assuming she had this skill only because her father must have been white. However, she let the world know that she, a harpist with brown skin was just as capable as anyone else in the industry. During the peak of her career, Miller appeared on The Ed Sullivan Show and The Rosie Greer Show, captivating America with her exquisite harp playing. During her lifetime, she had no shortage of admirers on and off stage. She was married at least six times to a host of artists and dancers, including tap dancer Bernard Bunny Briggs. She also had two children, a son named Alvin, who died at the age of four, and a daughter. Miller died in North Las Vegas, Nevada in 2003 at the age of 89. To date, her 1962 performance of April in Paris on The Ed Sullivan Show is the only surviving footage of her playing the harp. You may enjoy this performance by visiting the Ed Sullivan channel on YouTube. However, her vinyl recording, Look Up, showcases her vocal talent, reminding us of her legacy as a woman who persevered and brought a fresh sound to the jazz world. You got to look up, look up. don't ever despair. Don't Good Lord, don't tax you more than you can bear. You can bear yeah. What ye believe ye are, be guided by that star. Look up, look up, look up. You've got to look up. Oh, yes, look up. Remember Noah. Yes, Noah. Noah and that ark. And that ark. Oh, 
lights were also oh 